In this video we are going to see Honeywell Trend IQ Vision Software Configuration Setup Part 2. Welcome to Controls and Systems YouTube channel. The Trend Module Discovery Wizard is used to discover the following controller modules, sensors, knobs, switches, drivers and digital inputs and import them as readable writable points in NIC Vision. In addition, the wizard enables the discovery and import of time schedules and plot modules. A separate trend system must be added for each trend site that you wish to supervise within IQ Vision. To add a trend system, 1. In the nav tree open the station folder. 2. Open the config folder. 3. Open the drivers folder. 4. Double click trend systems. The Trend System Manager view is displayed. 5. Click the New button. The new dialog box is displayed. Note, if you want to add more than one site, enter the required number in the Number to Add box. 6. Click OK. The new dialog box is displayed. 7. If required, change the default name to be a meaningful name for the site. 8. Set the time zone to match the local time of the IQ Vision PC. 9. Click OK. The new site will appear in the Trend System Manager view and in the nav tree as a subfolder under Trend Systems. Each site name is prefixed with site, where X is a unique number. Note, if you wish to rename the site, right click on the site and select Set Display Name to enter a different name. Do not use the rename option. 10. Now run the Trend System Discovery Wizard to configure the lands and devices for the site. Run the Trend System Discovery Wizard. The Trend System Discovery Wizard enables you to connect to a Trend IQ system, site, and discover its lands and devices. The wizard is typically used to configure a new site, but can also be used to relearn or modify the settings of an existing site. 1. In the NAF tree, expand the Trend Systems folder. 2. Double click the site that you want to configure. The wizard will start and the connection setup page will be displayed. 3. Specify the initial connection endpoint. This is the VC and C connection that Vision will use to discover the Trend System configuration and will be set up as the primary connection to the system. Select Use TUA from Mic U Set or IP Tool and then either type the required TUA or paste a TUA copied from Trend IP Tool into the TUA box. Or select Use IP Address or Host Name and type the IP address, host name and available VCNC ports. When entering multiple port numbers, each individual number must be separated by a comma a hyphen can be used to denote a range of numbers. 4. If connecting to a secure VCNC, recommended, enter the CNC user name and CNC user password for the CNC user configured in the device. Otherwise, if connecting to a standard VCNC, not recommended, select Allow Use of Unauthenticated VCNCS. You will be prompted to continue using an unauthenticated connection. 5. Click Test Connection. A progress bar is displayed. 6. Wait for the test to complete. If a connection was made the following message appears. Note, if the connection fails, check the entered settings and try again. You cannot proceed to the next step until the connection test is successful. 7. Click OK. 8. Click Next. The discovery page will be displayed. Note, for a new system the wizard will begin the discovery process on a large site can take some time and must not be interrupted, for example by the IQ Vision PC going into a sleep, standby mode or by the user login timing out. For a system that has already been discovered a relearn system button will be displayed, enabling you to update the configuration with any changes in the system configuration. 9. Wait while the wizard begins discovering the available lands and devices on the trend site. The wizard will also look for other available connection points in the system. 10. 
Once the progress wheel shows completed click next. The pin security page will be displayed. All discovered devices are grouped by LAN number. 11. Enter the pins required to allow read and write access to the system devices. A pin entered at the system or site level will be used for all devices, unless specified differently for a particular LANs or devices. Similarly, a pin entered at a LAN level will be used for all devices on that LAN, unless specified differently for a particular devices. 12. Click Next. The virtual CNC's page will be displayed. All discovered and available VCNCs are grouped by LAN number and are identified using the following icons. 13. Initially, ICVision will configure one primary connection based on your initial connection and point settings. If required, enable further connections, a maximum of one primary and one secondary for each LAN by selecting either primary or secondary in the priority box. 14. Use the permanent connection checkbox to determine if the connection is to be permanent or temporary on demand. Permanent is the default and is recommended in most cases. 15. Enter the appropriate CNC username and CNC user password for any secure VCNCS that you intend using. 16. For each configured connection, click the adjacent test button to verify that the connection can be made. If a connection was made the following message appears, note, it is recommended that all of the primary and secondary connections have been tested successfully before proceeding to the next step. 17. Click Next. The Alarm Gates page will be displayed. 18. Check that there are no problems with site GUIDs, as shown above. If there are multiple or duplicate GUIDs on the same site, these should be resolved using XEB before continuing. Note, it is essential that site GUIDs are correctly configured to ensure accurate reporting of site alarms. Each trend site should have a unique GUID and all devices on that site should be configured with the same GID. If multiple GIDs are found on one site, IQ Vision can still correctly identify the origin of an alarm. However, if the same GUID appears on multiple sites, it may not be able to resolve the origin of the alarm. 19. Click Next. The summary page will be displayed. 20. Change the site display name, if required. 21. Change the site time zone if required. 22. Click Finish. 23. Now run the Trend Module Discovery Wizard to configure points, histories and time schedules for the site. Well, I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching our videos. Have a great day.